Hey guys, Momo here, and welcome to the final episode of Another Code, Two Memories, slash Trace Memory. <laughs> In the last episode, we uh, dug around this room a lot, um, found out a lot of information, and um, now we're going through this door and see what's going to happen. It looks like there's another lab in the back. Yes. Ashley. Yes. I know your father was devoted to his work, but I don't understand why he would have left you alone all these years. Maybe he was trying to get over his grief for mom. To get over his grief. I don't really understand it. The only way I can explain it is that he must have needed time to be alone. D. I feel really nervous. Ashley. Ah. What? <laughs> oh. I see. There's a keypad to open the door. Let's see. What's the right code? Okay, so the first code was um, A. Ah, uh, was this? This is there. Um, five. Ah, uh, what was it? Five, three, eight. I think. And Lee. And then there was S A Y nine one nine O cool. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh uh, I've, uh the the psycho code was right, but I don't remember. We have it in the dust card. So oops. <laughs> that was not a dust. So it was nine nine one. Eight five three. Okay, so the rest of the right number is just the wrong uh, <laughs> order. Eight five three. Eight five three. Eight five three. Eight five three. Okay. Right. So, A S H. Eight five three. L. E Y S A Y nine one nine o. gate open. Got it. Uh, I'm really nervous that I get the right ending. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, it's been a while since I got the right ending ending in this, so I really hope I triggered all the events. It's open. Well done. Oh, nervous. At the back of the lab. He stands waiting for me. Ashley. This is another. Another? This is the reason I had to leave you with Jessica for 11 years. For Sayako and myself. This is our life's work. I know the truth now. What do you mean? I know that you're my dad. Oh, Ashley. The man I saw in the lounge wasn't my dad. Ashley. He attacked Jessica, didn't he? It seems so, yes. So he must have been Bill? Yes, that man was Bill Edward. So that must mean that Bill is the owner of this mansion. Yes, he is the last of the Edwards. Why did he pretend to be you? He discovered that in order to activate another two, he needed you and your dust. Where is he now? 
I don't know. Why were you in that hidden room? I have no idea. I woke up there. I don't understand what's going on at all. I thought that everything would become clear when I met you. But now, I'm more confused than ever. I'm sorry. Please don't apologize. It won't help. I know. But it's the only thing I can do. Right now. Please, just don't. Ashley. I finished another. My partner Bill came to see me. Then, the next thing I remember, I woke up in that room. When you found me. But what happened after you saw Bill? I really don't know. I could have been out for a minute or a few days. I don't know what happened here while I was unconscious. And then... Then you were there and you asked me about Sayako. Then what, ha what happened? I was shocked by a sudden memory. A memory? What was it? I... What? Ashley. There's something I need you to do for me. Only you can do it. Something only I can do? Ashley. I need you to activate another. And verify the truth of my memory. You want me to verify the truth of your memory? I don't understand what you're saying. Listen to me carefully, Ashley. I have an awful memory about the night your mother was killed. An awful memory? Yes, if this memory is true, then I've done something unforgivable. And I've no right to be your father. So, I need to verify it. I need to know if this recollection about Saiko is a manipulated memory or not. Manipulated memory? What do you mean? Ashley. This machine, another, can manipulate human memories. It can implant false memories and replace the true memories. Implant false memories? But why would anyone want to do that? Sayako and I developed another to help people with painful memories. War veterans, victims of trauma. We thought that they might have a chance of happiness if another could erase the pain. But if someone were to use another for the wrong reasons, if it's ah, uh, if it fell into the wrong hands, terrible, terrible things could happen. Did Bill use another to manipulate your memory? Maybe. When Bill came to visit me just before I blacked out, I believe there was a prototype desk on my desk. It had a white desk card inside. Ashley, the desk I sent you is the only production model. Your desk is the only one that can read both the white and the red cards. Ashley, if my current memory is false, I want to get my real memory back. I want to face you as your father. But if it's real... Ashley, please connect your dust to a to another it will activate <laughs> activate another one and play back my current memory you will be able to see it too when it is done activate another two then we'll see what the true memory is recover your memory with my death that's right i want you to find out the truth Ashley, please.
please verify my memory. All right. So, uh, uh how does that work? <laughs> A large white machine. So, uh, do I go somewhere? How is it all? Uh, how is all this happening, Ashley? What are you going to do? What if your father's memory was repa replaced? <laughs> what if his memory is the truth, Ashley? What are you going to do? Do you want to know the truth? The truth about your mother and your father. I want to know the truth. I do want to know the truth. Good. But I don't know what to do. I don't know who to trust. Ashley, do you think your father killed your mother? No, he didn't kill her. No. My dad would never do that. I think so too. Ashley. Let's recover his memory. OD. Ah. Uh. That's the door. <laughs> right. Um, how do I do this uh, dust thing? <laughs> Ashley, maybe I'm asking for too much from you. It's okay, Ashley. Dad, I want to activate another to verify your memory. My Ashley. On the back of another, there's a control panel. It's... Uh, this indentation on the center, it looks about the same size as my desk when it's open, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I'll put my desk here. The desk is set to the, uh, on <laughs> is set on the panel. Uh. Yes. I used the white desk card. Going to replay that's current memory. Starting memory replay of Richard Robbins on the 9th of May 11 years ago. Please wait. Another is activated. Sayako. No. Please don't. Another's mine, you hear me? Sayako. Dad. Dad shot my mom? I can't believe it. Ashley, that's just his current memory. You're going to verify if this is true or not, right? Yes. It just looks so real. Let's use the red desk card. I'm going to recover Dad's true memory. Recovering erased memory of Richard Robbins on the 9th of May 11 years ago. Please wait. Another two activated. No. Sayoko. He was here. He wanted another.
Ashley? Are you in there? Daddy! Dad! When Dad came home, she was still alive. She died in his arms. Ashley. Mom. Ashley. Dad. My memory of that night. It was false. Ashley. Oh my Ashley. Dad. Ashley. Now I can finally hold you in my arms. Oh, Dad. Oh, my Dad. Ashley. Hehehe. <laughs> ha ha. What was that? It's Bill. Where is it coming from? That speaker above the door. Richard, I'll be waiting for you in the cave. We've got lot uh we've got a lot to talk about. Dad Ashley, wait here. No, I'm going with you. I don't want to be apart from you anymore. No, oh, Ashley. Dad, now I must repeat the important things to remember them. I mustn't forget. We solved the mystery of the zoetrope and pressed the switch, hidden in the pain painting of the tree. The painting led to a hidden room. The person in on the floor in the hidden room was... Richard. Yes, it was Richard, my dad. But I couldn't understand what he was saying to me. I didn't believe he was my dad. When I met my dad in the hidden room, there was a, fl was a flurry of confusion. I had thought that Bill was my dad. I was then disturbed to learn that that was at the scene of my mother's death. In the confusion, dad left, leaving me to find Henry's last letter. On the typewriter, it was addressed to... Uh... Mm. Ah, was it Franny or Marie? Franny, right? Yes, the letter was addressed to Franny. The letter revealed some shocking information about Dee's family. Afterwards, Dee remembered that his full name is full name is Daniel. Dee and I went into the lab to look for my dad. There, I found the desk cards that stored the activation codes for another, and used them to recover Dad's memory. We discovered that his current memory was false. This false memory had been implanted in him. Shortly afterwards, we heard a voice coming from a speaker. The voice belonged to... Bill. Yes, the voice we heard from the speaker was Bill's. He said he were... He, <laughs> he said he is waiting for dad in the cave. What's going to happen now? Who is Bill? Will I finally learn the truth about my mom's death? Maybe there's some more I need to find out. The memory of the right hand. Oh man. <laughs> uh, maybe this isn't the final episode. <sighs> No, I've, I've, I, I am going to 
play the rest of the game in this episode. So this might be a longer episode. Just to, <laughs> to be warned, but you can already see that on the timestamp. So, hey, wait a minute. What's the matter? I left my desk back there. Just leave it. Don't worry about it. But anyone could just pick it up and activate another. No, the desk has been programmed for your use only. Of course. Hey, Dad. That Bill guy. Sorry about that. <clears throat> was he a friend of yours? Yes, he was. Bill, Sayako and I worked together at the same research lab. Bill and I were good friends. We trusted each other. We were so close that we could talk about anything. However, I might have been the only one who felt that way. Dad, I'm worried about Jessica. How was she when you left her? She said she still uh, felt dizzy. I hope she's alright. I don't want Jessica to see Bill. I'll get her once I've talked to him. Why? How does Bill know Jessica? Those two, they have a history. What kind of history? Well, let's just say they were friends. Very close friends. Dad, have you ever seen a ghost? No, never. And you? Have you seen one? Well, you could say that. Really? How wonderful. <laughs> My god, these are so adorable. Arrgh. Is there anything down here I can... Uh, explore? Large wooden box. Rusty door. I guess not. Cave. Wow, this cave is huge. This is. Uh, there are several mines here. They were dug everywhere. This cave is one of those mines. There uh, they used to be a path from the courtyard to the cave. A path from the courtyard? Hey dad, you know where the lamp is now? Did that used to be the courtyard? Yes, it certainly did. You know, Ashley, I was thinking. Yeah? About what? Your voice. What about it? It sounds a lot, a lot like your mother's. Really? Thanks, Dad. It makes me happy to think that. Hey, Dad. When I was little, what was I like? Well, to be honest, you were a crybaby. Crybaby? I don't believe that. You followed your mom wherever she went, like a little shadow. As soon as you lost sight of her, you wouldn't start. You would start crying. Hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is it? I just remembered something funny that happened. Well, don't keep it to yourself. What was it? If I recall correctly, you were about two years old. Your mother was out, and you and I were alone at home. As soon as she left, you turned into the world's saddest baby. I tried everything, but you wouldn't stop crying. Then I discovered that if I threw you up in the air, you would, you would stop. 
you looked me right in the eye and you laughed and laughed. I didn't want you to start crying again. So I kept throwing, kept on throwing you up in the air. By the time your mother came home, I was the one who was crying. My arms were about to fall off from all the effort. Ha, <laughs> serves you right for calling me a crybaby. I just have to laugh when I think back to that time. You were the cutest baby in the world. Hey! There's a shoe on the floor. It looks like Dee's shoe. Dee? Who's that? A friend of mine. A friend? Got these other shoe. Uh should should that have triggered something? I'm uh, quickly going to consult my uh, my little guide here. <laughs> um just uh, to be sure. Okay, so it doesn't seem like I'm going to get the good ending. <laughs> um I might do like a speedrun thingy uh, to get the good ending for a separate episode so after this if I really don't get the good ending here I will have a extra episode where I will show you the good ending um, so apparently uh, D had to make a response to entering the cave which he didn't so <laughs> god damn it it's really difficult to uh, get the good ending in this game. Oh, okay. Dad, what is it? What do you know about the Edward family? <clears throat> I mean, before Bill's time. I know a little bit about them. What do you know? Hmm. It's not easy to just sum them up from what they've left behind here. I'm the most captivated by Henry. Who painted the portraits? Why? Actually, I'd seen some of his work before I came to this island. Where? A small gallery in Manhattan. One painting really stood out. What was it like? It was a beautiful watercolor of a young boy and a girl. I fell in love with that painting. But I didn't have the money to buy it. So I used to go to the gallery every day just to look at it. The owner of the gallery once told me the artist's story. Tell me. The artist had lost his right arm during the Second World War. That was his dominant arm, so he gave up on painting for a while. However, because of his gifts and the encouragement of his, of his family, he was able to take the talent he had in his right hand and transfer, transfer it to his left. Amazingly, he was still able to paint with the same artistry. This piece was one he created after his comeback. However, just as he seemed to be putting his life back together. Having created a few new pieces, he suddenly committed suicide. That's the story I heard. So when I came here and learned that Henry was the one, uh, was the very artist, I was shocked to read the writings he left behind. But after reading what he wrote right before his death, I still don't know exactly what happened to Thomas and Daniel. I guess that will always remain a mystery. Bill is waiting for us. Bill. Richard. Why? Why did you do such a thing? I was doing a test run on another. It was a success. Congratulations, Richard.
Why did you lie to me? Why did you pretend to be my dad? Ashley, I got to witness a girl's reunion with her father after having been separated for 11 years. I was acting at first, but after looking at your earnest eyes, I couldn't. F uh, I could feel my heart warm to you. Bill. Ashley, you have your mother's eyes. When I saw those eyes, I wanted to be your father, even if I, if, even if I was, even if it was only for a short while. You're a horrible person, Bill. Horrible? Yes, you are. You lied to me. You did horrible things to the people closest to you. <clears throat> closest to me? You heard me. Dad and Jessica are your friends. How could you treat treat your friends that way? Ashley, you're wrong. What do you mean I'm wrong? Richard and Jessica are no longer my friends. But they were. Ashley, adult relationships are very complicated. Sometimes the closer you are to someone, the more it hurts. When things go wrong. So, is that why you hurt Jessica and manipulated Dad's memory? Bill. But why? Why did you do that to Jessica? She... I really didn't plan it that way. I didn't think that I would see her here. Jessica knew about you, so you... Yes, that's right. Richard, it seems that you hadn't. Uh, it seems that you hadn't told Jessica about me. That was what we agreed on, wasn't it? Yes, I suppose it was. Ashley, listen to me. I wasn't planning on hurting her. That's not why I did it. I wanted to be your father, and she was in the way. But why? Why did you want to be my father? Ashley. I needed you for the activation of another two. Why did you re re rewrite Dad's memory? I have already explained that to you. I was just taking another for a test drive. No, you're lying. You wanted to make Dad believe that he had killed Mom. Why would you think that? It's all becoming clear. How very convenient for you if Dad did it. Convenient for me? What do you mean by that? I, I mean... What are you saying? Are you saying that I am the one who killed your mother? You're a bad little girl, Ashley. To accuse someone of such a heinous crime without any proof. Richard, did you fill her minds with all this poison? Stop it, Bill. Don't talk to her like that. Ha! <laughs> Who knew you were capable of, capable of speaking such fatherly words? I suppose it's... Riding a bicycle, you never. Ah, it's like riding a bicycle. You never forget how to be a dad. Even if you abandoned your child for 11 years. What do you mean you needed me for activating another two? Ashley. Your father wanted to complete his research and create another. He got financial grants from third parties and continued to develop it. However, he wanted to keep part of another all for himself. He managed to do this by implanting the biometric data of his own daughter into the system for another two. I came here after receiving word that another was complete. On the way, I checked his notes on the lab PC and discovered all of this, Bill, 
Ashley, your father is the horrible one. He pretended to be my friend, but then he stabbed me in the back. That is why we aren't friends anymore. Bill, do you know who my mom's murderer is? Can you handle the truth? Yes, I can. The person who killed your mother, your mom has still not been caught. The authorities have had no evidence or witnesses. However, one person did see your mother's murderer. There was one witness. Who was it? Bill Stop. The girl wants to know, Richard. Who was it? Who saw my mom get killed? Ashley, that person was you. What? Ashley, don't listen to a thing he says. Dad, what happened to your mom? You don't have to think about it. Uh, you don't have to think about that anymore. Dad. Bridget. Why do you always do that? What do you mean? You ignore the truth and see only what you want to see. You saw it all, Ashley. You saw the shooting. You saw your mother draw her last breath. Stop talking about Sayoko like that. Why? Ah, uh, why? Don't you want Ashley to know the truth? I don't want to make her relive these tragedies. Ha. Huh. Bill. That day, 11 years ago, when Sayako lost her life, Ashley suffered amnesia from the shock of what she had seen. All she would do when she saw my face was cry. I was at a loss. You came to me and told me of the research you were doing here. Dad. Bill, there was a reason I didn't tell you I was working on, the, on developing another two. I'm sure you've guessed it. Yes, Richard. Please entertain us. I didn't tell you because I wanted to replay Ashley's memory of that night using another two to find Sayaku's killer. And after I found the killer, I wanted to remove Ashley's negative memory with another one and replace it with a different one. Dad. I get it now. That's right, Ashley. Dad. Ashley. Stop it. What? Stop. Just stop the caring father act. What are you talking about? Am I mistaken? Let me see if I've got this right. Driven by your sentimentality and memories of the past, you've spent the last 11 years lying to me. Bill. Richard. You must be the biggest idiot alive. You knew how to develop another, but you didn't know how to use it. How to use another? Bill, what do you mean? You don't know what it can be used for. Well, let me tell you. You can use another to manipulate a person's memories. Using it, you can develop the reality that you envision. No. I didn't create another to be used like that. Not at all. Bill, you should really understand this more than anyone. I developed another to help people. Oh please, Richard. I'm really starting to get uh, to tire of that holier than thou attitude of yours. Another is mine and I will decide what how to and I will decide how it's used. 
No. Come on. I'm the one who footed the bill for this research. Richard, I am the one who should be who should benefit from the results. Bill. You told me yourself that another was meant to help mankind. I thought that was why I was working here. Those are pretty lofty words, and here I was thinking it was just your inability to cope that caused your uh, caused you to abandon Ashley. I thought it was your weakness that made you hide from reality, not your grand goals for humanity. For eleven years, you reveled in your solitude and research, never thinking of the cost to your own daughter. You enjoyed it, and you call yourself a man. However, this is why I hired you, Bill. Another is complete. Richard, I have no further use for you. Bill, you can't use another that way. I won't let you. Richard, don't move. Bill, what are you doing? Ashley, though you've only just met, it's time to say goodbye to your dad. Wait, I have to tell dad something. Please let me tell him. Who killed mom? Ashley, I don't think you have anything to say to Richard. You said you didn't remember the face of your mother's killer. But you said that I saw it. You said that I am the only person who saw my mom's kill killer. Dad worked so hard to create another to find mom's killer. That's why I need to tell him. Even without using another. Without using another? I just need to remember. I just need to remember and tell my dad. All right, Ashley, just for you. I'll give you a little more time before I pull the trigger. Now, Ashley, let's see if you can remember that night of your mother, ah, uh, that night your mother was killed. But just out of curiosity, the night your mother died, what happened when you were with her? Mm. Someone came in. Who came in? I remember waiting for dad with mom. Suddenly we heard footsteps. Mom realized that someone was in the house. Sayako realized that someone was in the house. What happened then? She hid me in the wardrobe. Did she hide you in the ward wardrobe? Mom told me to be completely silent, as quiet as a mouse. She opened the wardrobe and hid me inside. Hey Richard. Ashley's starting to remember. Does that make you happy? Bill. I'm only keeping you alive now. As long as she keeps talking. Ashley. So what else do you remember? Your more, uh, The more you remember, the harder it will be. I know that. Are you sure? Yes. Ashley, you replayed your dad's memory using another. Yes. How did you replay it? I used the white dust card to re replay his current memory. Then I used the red dust card to replay his true memory. 
Ashley. How did you know that the red dust cart was his true memory? Because my dad said so. Ashley, is that so? What if your father was lying to you? He does tend to only see what he wants to see. What if the memory you replayed with the white dust cart was the real? Bill, what are you saying? Dad. Ashley, Bill's lying. Dad. <laughs> what if the killer's face you remember is that of your father? What then? Ashley, with your father in mind, try to recall what happened that night. Ashley, when you were hiding in the wardrobe, what happened? Ah, uh, I heard mom's voice. Did you hear Sayako's voice? Yes, I heard my mom's voice. Ashley. What did Sayako say? What did you hear? You can't have another. So she wouldn't give up another. Did she say that? Yes. My mom said she wouldn't hand over an another over. That's what she said. Bill, don't. You can still end this. Drop the gun. Richard. We're close to the climax now. Soon you will know what it is you wanted to know. Dad. However, as soon as you hear it, your life will end. Ashley, take your time remembering the rest. This is the important part. Did you hear something after you heard your mother, uh, your mom's voice? Heard a gunshot. Go on. I heard something scary, something I'd never heard before. Ashley, what did you do? I looked out of the wardrobe and what did you see I saw yes I saw it I saw the face of the person who killed my mother oh no all of a sudden what I saw from the inside of that wardrobe it starts to appear like a photograph developing I see a shoulder, then a wisp of hair, then a pair of stony eyes. I close my eyes to sharpen the image in my mind. Hey, that face belongs to Bill. Ashley, when you looked out of the wardrobe, who did you see? It was It was you Bill you did it? Bill. Why would you? How could you? Richard. Didn't you suspect anything? How could I? You were my friend. What was it you weren't able to ask me 11 years ago? You mentioned it in your memo. That's not what I wanted to ask you. 
Why did you kill Sayako? Answer me. Why did you kill her? Sayako, she betrayed us. Us? What do you mean us? Richard, you're telling me you didn't know? Sayako was one of us. What? Another was developed in the government secret lab. Sayako and I were the main driving forces in the project's pro progress. It was just the two of us. Then we selected you to join us. But just as the project started to take off, Sayako betrayed me. She took up with you. The two of you stole the another essay and hid it in your house. That night, before I went over to your house, I begged her. Sayako, please return the essay and come back to the project. She wouldn't listen. I didn't want to hurt her, but she had impeded the progress of our project. So I made her listen. I shot Sayako. Stop. Hey, who are you? Answer me. Stop. You're making Franny cry. Bill. Richard. Dad. Why? Why did Bill... Why did he fall all of a sudden? He seemed to see something. I don't know. Oh, Bill. Dad. Dad. Ashley. Are you okay? Yes. How about you, Dad? I'm shaking, but I guess I'm okay. Ashley, that was a horrible thing for you to see. I'm a terrible father. I'm so sorry I got you wrapped up in all of this. Ashley, please forgive me. My heart hurts. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, uh, to say to you now. Ashley. Oh yeah. I know this feeling. I felt it before. On the night that mom died. Yeah, on that night. He was close by me too. Dad. Does your heart hurt too? Oh, Ashley. Dad? You aren't feeling... Uh, you aren't feeling well? Not really, no. Dad. There's something that I want to ask you. What's that? That thing that you weren't able to ask me 11 years ago. What you weren't able to ask Bill. What was it? Did you think that Bill was the person who killed mom? No. I never suspected that. Not even for a second. Eleven years ago, after your mother's funeral, I saw it. Bill visited Sayako's grave alone 
with a bouquet of white flowers. He stood there at her grave for a long time. It felt like it, it felt like all day. He had a stricken look on his, fa on his face. He looked like he had lost the love of the love of his life. He was suffering like no one should have to. Ashley, I don't know if this is something I should be, should be telling you, but I will. What I wanted to ask Bill all those years ago was if Bill was if he if he was in love with your mother. Dad, I'm sorry to have told you all this. No, I needed to know. You told me the truth, and for that I'm grateful. Ashley. Dad. I'm going to go and get Jessica. Okay. Cross this bridge to get to the bay. I'll be back soon. Just wait for me there. Okay. Yeah, so we are. Uh, I don't think we got the ending, right? Um, because D is not responding. Oh, Ashley? It's wait for your partner. Uh, ah, yeah. Okay, so we, we didn't trigger the last of these memories for some reason, so there will be an extra episode with the real ending if I can manage to get it. So, <laughs> Epilogue The Miracle of the Blue Moon. I hear the sound of waves. Yes. This is the bay. I can't believe it's night already. Ahoy there. That voice, it's... Hmm? Kid, are you here? It's Captain. There you are. Hey, you waited for us. I've been looking all over for you. I went to the gate in the woods, but I couldn't open it. So I came around the other side. And here you are. I'm so glad to see you, uh, see you're safe. Yes, I'm still in one piece. Where's your aunt? My dad went to get her. I see. I assume you finished your business here. Are you happy you found your dad? Yes, I am. But what's wrong? Are you tired? Maybe a bit. Growing up is tiring work. It's a fact of life, young lady. I, I have so many things I want to talk to you about. Would you listen to me? Later. Of course, if it ain't too complicated. Thank you. By the way, who's the young fellow next to you? A friend of yours? Huh? You, you can see D? Huh? I guess I must have startled him. He just ran off. Shy little fellow, isn't he? D, wait. Ashley. That's calling me. Ashley. Jessica. But where did D go? D. My ghost friend, where did you go? Kid, where are you going? I'm going to find my ghost friend. He poofed. What the hell? Oh. Ashley. Dad. 
Ashley. Jessica, are you feeling better? Yes, sorry for making you worry. No need to apologize. Jessica, about Bill. Don't worry, Ashley. I've already told her about Bill. Are you okay, Jessica? I will be. I don't know how he turned into such an awful person. He wasn't always like that. Jessica. If we had stayed friends like we were before, maybe this tragedy would never have happened. Oh, Jessica. Jessica. Well, Richard, I guess my job is done now. Thank you for taking care of Ashley. I can never repay you. I'm just glad I can return her to you. Jessica. Jessica, how could you? What? Are you going somewhere without me? Calm down, Ashley. No, this is wrong. I don't want anyone to leave me anymore. Not anymore. Ashley, don't worry. We'll all be together from now on. You need never be alone again. Dad. I finally have what I wanted. Dad and Jessica are here with me. I'm filled with so many emotions. Although I'm not sad. I feel like crying. I'm not alone anymore. Ashley. Huh? The captain is ready to leave. Let's go. Ashley, are you okay? There's one last thing I have to do. Please wait for me. D. There you are. D. Are you leaving? I have to. The boat's about to go. I'm happy for you. You're not alone anymore. But what about you? What will you do? I haven't recovered all of my memories yet. I guess I'll try to remember the rest on my own. Oh, D. He's gone. I'm left standing alone on the sandy beach. No. So yeah, that's the this is the, <laughs> the bad ending. Oh well. I'll be sure to let you see the good ending. I promise. <laughs> and I just realized this episode is one hour long. Maybe this will be split into two. Uh, you'll see. <laughs> but yeah, all set, Ashley. Yes, that. Look at the moon tonight. It's so bright. Ashley. Do you know what your middle name Misuki means? It means beautiful moon in Japanese. Your mother's native language. Beautiful moon. Just like tonight. Yes. Your mother chose it. Mom. Ashley. I used to come here alone at night. I used to look up at the big moon and think about you and Sayoko. Ashley. Dad. Yes, yes, Ashley. I saw mom. I am holding dad's hand in, in mine. 
My grip is tight. His hands, his hand is warm. The feeling is new and familiar. All at the same time. Dad. So much has happened. I'm feeling so many emotions. But most of all, I'm happy. I'm happy I have my dad back. This day. I'll never forget this day. When I grew up. No matter how bad things might get. I'll always remember today. Day I found my dad. Whoop, that was that. Oh, this is a long episode. <laughs> this will probably be split into, most likely. Um. <laughs> so yeah, that was another code. Um, not the ending I was going for. Um, executive producer Satoru Iwata. Oh. Rest his soul. So yeah, um... Uh, there will be an extra episode uh, after this. Um, I'm going to be like speed <laughs> speed running this game until I get the right ending, um, and then I'll just show you clips from the things that are different compared to this playthrough, and then the good ending. Um, so it won't be a long video next. It will just be a short, like a true end video, but. Um, yeah, I hope you really like this uh, game. It's one of my uh, all-time favorite DS games, just because it's one of the first ones I ever played. Um, I'm sorry my voice got a bit, bit rusty. <laughs> it, I didn't uh, anticipate. Uh, I forgot how much reading there was, because I've never narrated this before, so... But yeah, um... Really, really nice game, and it's um it's kind of short. I know it's a lot of episodes, bit, but that's because I was narrating uh most of it. I think the fastest you can speed run this game is like four hours or something like that. Um, so uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a uh, it's fairly short. Um, but yeah, I'll just have to consult the guide or something for the, the true end. I didn't, uh, I actually uh, think, uh, I actually thought I would get it because I was a pharaoh, but I guess I wasn't pharaoh enough in the end, so I just have to, uh, if I'm lucky I can uh, start up the save file from last time, <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm just uh, trying to uh, pass some time here <laughs> while the the credits roll but yeah also one thing I really love about this game is the art style I really really like this art style with the hard uh, black shadows it's really distinctive um, and the uh, yeah um, I think next the next game I'm going to play um, will be Danganronpa um, just so I can uh, <laughs> Uh, get a break from reading too much. Um, there will be uh, like voiceover uh, narration on, on some of the text in Dangaran, but the, the the ones that are not narrated uh, with voice acting, but not not as much as this. So, <laughs> Whew. Oh, such a cute family, <laughs> such a cute baby. Oh. So. That was another code. I don't think there's a post credit thing. Oh, there is. Happy birthday.
Oh right, there's another blow up the candles thing. Does it work? <laughs> oh my god, my my eternal struggle with my mic. Can I do it? Please? Ah, uh, you have to blow out the candles, but uh, my mic is kind of... Uh, Now I know why it didn't work. <laughs> I had a headset uh, connected to to it the whole time. I'm stupid. <laughs> the end. And I'm going to save the second slot here. Right. Just so I can go back <laughs> if I want to find the turret. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, it's been a blast, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the the next episode with the uh, Truant. Um, I'm going to just speed through that right after this, but um, yeah, and uh, be sure to give this video a like. Um, be sure to check out Takedo's Let's Plays, um, of what he currently has going on. I think there's a Devil May Cry game it's pretty hype so um i will see you in the next video so uh bye bye